Well, good Sunday morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Um, we got some rain this morning, and it cooled things down. It was supposed to be like in the upper 90s. I think it's going to be in the low 90s. And then by tomorrow morning, it's going to be like 58 degrees. So things change quickly sometimes in the world, at least when you, when you least expect it. And I have to say, my spider sense is going off right now. My spider sense is going off because I'm sitting here and things are too damn quiet. Not from, I mean, okay, we got the Malik Hooker uh, kind of maybe misinterpreted some things uh, with Micah Parsons and maybe a little bit of beef there. Um, but from the Cowboys front office, yeah, yes, we signed uh, some UFF, UFL players, um, you know, that are on the roster and getting us excited and things and all that. Um, we've had the usual stories of... Uh, Stephen Jones, of course, is the reason why we're not going all in as far as um, the team goes because he's really in charge. You know, we got that going on. And that Jerry Jones wants to go all in, but Stephen Jones isn't letting him and so on. But, you know, that's gone back since the time of Dion and so on. So, I mean, that's, you know, going on 30 years anyway. So that's nothing really new. But actually... It hit me as I'm going through, because you guys know how I always do my morning videos and things. <sighs> Excuse me. You guys always know how I do my morning videos. I go through, <clears throat> I talk about what happened, of course, yesterday, the things that we have to look forward to. We sign some new players and so on. And then I go through and I get a clip from one of the talking heads. So that way we can kind of just, you know, we'll be able to go back to it and look at it. You know, you get things like Colin Cowherd will say something like the Cowboys should let Dak Prescott walk and trade for Derek Carr. Not Derek Carr that's in New Orleans, back when it was Derek Carr with the Raiders, you know. And by doing that, we have those pieces to come back to. And it's kind of fun because you can look and say, as people try to give them credibility, you got an opportunity to say, well, this is what they said, and it's not anywhere close to what actually reality is. So it's a good comparison. But as I go through all the shows and all the talking heads, the Cowboys aren't really on the forefront like they used to be. They're talking about all kinds of other stuff. It's kind of like the Cowboys, it's like, you know, we've we've been here, we've done that. Now, we always know the Cowboys move the needle in things. But I'm telling you, there's kind of a sea change where maybe people are getting sick of the same drama with the Cowboys. And this is when that happens. is typically when Jerry Jones will do something to try and make sure they're relevant again. Case in point, let me give you a perfect example. At the Pro Football Hall of Fame, here it is, Jimmy Johnson becoming one of 300 and odd people to literally be considered one of the very, very best and being inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That is Jimmy Johnson's moment. That is the pinnacle of everything you have done in your life. That is your moment. You're one of five or six guys that are having that moment that year. And what does Jerry Jones do? Jerry Jones wants to steal the limelight. You know, Jimmy, <laughs> we're going to put you in the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor. Don't get it twisted. To be one of those guys in the Ring of Honor is incredible. 
It's incredible. There's very few people that are on there. Not to disparage that, the difference of the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor versus the Pro Football Hall of Fame. That was nothing more than Jerry Jones wanting to steal the headlines. And that is the Dallas Cowboys in a nutshell. The Cowboys consider, or Jimmy Johnson, excuse me, Jerry Jones considers winning that they're talking about us. We own the headlines. We them boys. We sell the merchandise. Well, wasn't there like two or three Eagles in the top ten? In jersey sales? You're not seeing the shows talking about them like they were? And me, I'm like, literally, I'm just like, damn, well, that was three weeks ago. Well, that was two weeks ago. Man, this shit's old news. And when stuff like this happens is when something breaks out of left field. Think about last year at training camp, Trayvon Diggs. They did the press conference. Boom. During the, during the press conference of opening day, Diggs gets his contract. Even more publicity. The Cowboys, they're back at camp and record-breaking deal. Boom. So I say, when it's too quiet with the Cowboys, watch out because that's when something happens to become relevant. So we got really nothing kind of going on. Now we've got our live stream at four, excuse me, five o'clock Eastern. Hope you guys tune in. If you're a channel member, you can be part of the show. Um, I'll put the link in the description this morning. I'm going to do some work and stuff out here now that it cooled down a little bit and stuff. But I came across, this is crazy, guys. I don't know if you guys saw this or not on Pat McAfee, or I didn't even hear about this. We lost to Japan. We lost to Japan in football. Listen to this. This is one of those things that should never, ever happen. USA lost to Japan in American football. Did you see that? I don't even understand how that is possible. I don't even understand how that is. I got to go back and research it. I have no idea. I saw a highlight of some kid they couldn't tackle, and I'm like, who the hell is this running down the field? We got beat 41 to 20. Are you kidding? This is a play I saw on Twitter today. And the 20 points were in garbage time. Or 63. I mean, we got to. I mean, look, somebody's got to explain this to me. Like, where, where did this happen, and who did we send over there? No, it's a, like, what and, players do we send over? So here's the setup. Here's the Because we asked a lot of these questions as well, because we're like, excuse me, and we'll be having Jordan Poyer join us in the next hour. He's a former member this, of this, this team. Crazy. I believe Jonathan Taylor, also formerly on this team. I think it was... Mac Jones, Ma- Chase Young, Todd Gurley. What? A lot of, yeah, we're talking about a, wow. a, a pretty good alumni, and then all of a sudden, the first time I see them playing football, they're getting their asses beat by Japan. Oh, my God an American football tournament. We, tackle? we named the I mean, game. There's just grab, grab, grab tackling. I mean, this yeah. is horrible. What I are we doing, doing here? And, and we don't need to just judge every player that's on the field, but well. where the fuck is Caleb Dodds? This, this is, you know, like where? Oh, yeah. We are, uh, this is under 20. And if this matters, I would like to know why we don't have our guys playing. Could you fathom if we put together the actual under-20 team oh with oh the all-stars around college football right now with the way – think about oh, our yeah. wide receivers. How, how, how can we get embarrassed oh like this? Oh, my God. But with the, the, no, for be. some reason, that is not who our team is. I don't know if you're not allowed to be paid. I don't know if there's the – NIL is affecting this. Is why guys aren't – This is insane. we can't be losing in an American football tournament as the United Hold States. On the ball. Did we just fumble in the one yard yeah. line? Yeah. Fumbled on the one yard line. Situational football awareness, not. I mean, we need Lou Holtz over there. We got to yeah. get a hard, We got to get Lou over there and get him straightened out. Yeah, That's Lou would want America to win. Yeah, yeah, he would. Always has. Listen. I, t- I mean, I it love this. Been pissing us since 1944, okay? So maybe we had this one coming, all right? I don't know who the goddamn head coach is. Maybe I need to, you know, dust off my loafers and get in that locker room. I, I, I can guarantee we compete more. Three touchdowns. We're getting beat by 21 points to Japan. Jesus Christ. 
the, you know, the greatest <laughs> generation didn't go over there and do what they did in Okinawa for us to get. And why the hell is this game being played in Edmonton? I think that's where the tournament is. Yeah, I have no was, idea either. It was in Cal Eat by Japan. Jesus Christ played in the United States of America. It's American football. Maybe that's why we lost. I maybe, don't know. maybe because it was on foreign soil. I don't know, but the CFL does exist. I. It was great to hear from Coach Lou Holtz. I believe he has a podcast now. So, congrats Big on the pod. Today, yeah, yeah, congrats on the pod, <laughs> Coach. Uh, anyways, uh, Lombo, that can't be happening. Yes, sir. No. And everybody, no. no, it can't be. That's embarrassing. We can't have that. We can't allow that. I mean, we invented the game. I mean, how the hell can we get beat in a game we invented? I mean. <laughs> You know, I mean, you know. even on the touchdown throw, they blow the they blow the protection on the touchdown, and we still can't make a play on it. I mean, like, really, what are we doing here? Like, look, I mean, what are we yeah, doing? I think I think what we're saying is USA football, which I believe I'm learning this all in the last 24 hours. What are we doing? Its home is here in Indianapolis. It's like, hey, we what? can get some speakers in here. We can get some football minds to travel in and talk to the team. Easily. Maybe maybe yeah. learn some game here. Uh, you know, do the whole thing. Because I think the players have to pay a fee. I think they have to oh, pay a geez. fee to kind of get into One this thing. And it's like, they're representing the United States of America. And we got football minds like Lombo. That I'm sure if you call and ask, yeah. like, hey, will you come speak to the United States of America football team? It's like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I watched some of their film. I, I they do don't know shit about I would love fuck. To. <laughs> the MB I the would MVP's love to. last name was Kobayashi. I don't know if it's Kobayashi's kid or not, but. Well, Joey Jaws needs to make sure exactly. that this shit ain't happening. Yeah. Kobayashi? Yeah. Is, is, that, is that from the. Uh, Wow. Joining us now More than ever. is a man who's thinking about going and lying about his, on his birth certificate to play for that Team USA next time there's one of these little international tournaments. Yep. He's college football national champion and Super Bowl champion. Should probably lay a little while, a little while, so we can lie about his age so he can play in this next one so America doesn't get beat by three See, touchdowns. Yeah, there you go. Against Japan. We A.J. Can. Hawk. Yeah, Hawk. Hawk. Get A.J. Hawk out there playing. Yeah, Shit. Stop showing it. Now, I, I do not look or feel 19, but I stop showing it, man. Just those, the pursuit angles. Look at leverage, block, like everything though. is just brutal on that. I mean, <laughs> in any turn, that. come on now. We can't turn the ball over right here. We we know we can't do that. Yeah, like any, we, we need quarterback sneak, maybe get a couple yards, especially if we're seeing the way the offensive line is moving. You know, maybe we need to make better yeah. decisions at this entire thing. I guess the head coach is a D3 uh, college football coach. I'm assuming there's a lot of D3 guys on this particular team. And uh, I, I don't, I don't know. No, no, but like, then why oh, don't we just send move, IMG? Okay. Like, why, why isn't IMG Academy our under 20 USA team? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, is there a little bamboozling going on to get on this team? For sure. How, how, how come? Because this, what's that? It's got to be politics. Classic Paul. There's one guy, Paul. offensive Paul. lineman. Great point. For, I mean, they, they fumbled on the one yard line. How good you are. It, is, was it, was the fix the in? person is that you know. That's right. Mm-hmm. And that's that's part of the problem in a lot. We're getting no it push. Is. Whatever whatever president brings up this never happening tonight again. That that's who my vote goes to. Whichever president say, hey, I, look, I saw something last night, and it was yeah. the fact that Team USA under twenty you, lost brother. by twenty one to Japan in Canada in American football. That can't be happening. That can't, whoever that can't that happen. Care, it's Joe or Don. They can't go. happen. So, right, so there's a lot on the okay. line here. Yeah. So there you have it, good people. The United States loses to Japan in football. I just don't even know where to go with that one. But, you know, the good news is tomorrow is July 1st. Training camp opens up the 24th. They get to Oxnard the 23rd. Guys, actually, some of the players will probably be getting there on Monday because Dak doesn't usually uh, go with the team charter. He's usually there actually early doing some work and everything else. So, yeah, three weeks, guys. Three weeks, and we'll have uh, some stuff going on. Oh, and I have to uh, – I got to get my new piece here. Uh, I think we, we might try and see if we want to uh, give it away or not. But we found a hat, an old hat. It's not an actual NFL license hat. It's a kind of a crazy – it's got two stars on it, which is kind of crazy. But we believe it's autographed by Drew Pearson. And I'm not sure who the other one is, but we'll let you guys figure that one out as well. And um, as always, I appreciate y'all. Peace out.